Now, while I'm wandering around talking to people and everything, I should mention... Board, Hello. Mention that I'm going to be following, like, a mission guide, which gives me, like, some good, uh... uh a good list of missions I should do in a certain order. So, like, tallies, uh... Loyalty mission comes at pretty much right near the end, so does Zayed, because they've got, like, Paragon or Renegade checks and stuff like that. And I may have to switch around somebody's with Miranda's because I want to romance Miranda. To do that, you need her loyalty. So we have to switch around with somebody. And I'm getting dizzy. Hello, who are you? I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please. Call me Kelly. Sure. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Massacre. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Let's check. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What do you do? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Happy? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't no worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. And embrace you. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? No thanks. I better go. Okay. Might as well just romance her. We've already got a spark going on there. <laughs> her. Where is this my private terminal? Team status upgrades. What about messages? Message from Anderson. Oh, I just marked that as red did I? I didn't mean to do that. Deal struck. We've reached an agreement with veteran mercenary Zaid Masani, the DLC character. You may know the name. Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus system, and he's feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I thought you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You'll we'll find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee, I've taken care of that personally. Red. Survey ship. There must be Rosalie. Survey ship with service connections gone missing, survey team uh, was field testing a prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Sad Explosive Explosion explo Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel Sace and Dr. Robert O'Loy are aboard the MSP Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship as survey team and the doctors. The MSP Rosalie, the last scene near planet Ziona, Alista, Isma Frontier. Oh, the crash site. Whatever DLC, our scan in the Armada system have turned up something we thought you should see the allocation of the refugee area SSV Normandy. Oops. That is annoying. Ah! Oh, we thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an interior motive. The Alliance would like to one of the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to take to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. We have 20 crew members and accounted for from the attack of Normandy. Find any signs of the Osh crewmen? We ask that you report on the alliance so that these heroes' families might get, have some closure. Gospel Duke Commander, Sultan, which I'm wearing already, and the App Projector, which I want to go get from the thingy. What was the first message from Anderson? I'll have to tell us that the rumors are true and you're actually alive, I need you to come talk to me on the Citadel, a lot, a lot has changed in the last few years, you put us on top, but it's only fair that you'd be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Okay. So. What's this? Oh, talk to Weedy, I don't want to, well I could talk to Weedy, but I don't want to. Elevate. Uh, tech Labs debriefing room, cockpit. Uh, cruise main passport. Where do I what is Oh, armor, I didn't see that then. What are we going? Come on. Already here. Oh. Ah, oh, I need I get used to all this seriously. I'm guessing it's down here. Oh, just along here. I don't know. I just need to find the armor. 
try and find it at least. Oh, Joker's up here, isn't it? This is, the, yeah, this is the front. Oh, we can go to the sides. Okay, no, we can't go to the sides. What controls? Jack Joker. Believe this, Commander. It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Chicken to be true. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. I'm thinking that might give us a really good. <laughs> I mean, this seat is real leather. Good to see you keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, leather. Leather. Where the hell's the armor? I got sprints. Oh, there's doorways here. And it says armory right there. God damn, I'm an idiot. Here we are. Shepherd. So we've got two options. Well, we've got two options for that. A viscerator. I think. Is that the DLC? Ballistics. This time has a violet. Several interrupt Yeah, that's the DLC. I'll take that. Assault rifle, which I can't do anything. Grenade launch. Two options. Art projector. There it is. Take an axe. And then the rest I have to keep on guessing. Has he got the eviscerator as well? I thought I had the eviscerator. Oh, we've both got the eviscerator. Okay. What she's got. Oh, she's got that stuff. Good. I've got the arc thingy. And. Oh, there's a gun there. The art projector. And uh, what do we call it? Oh, Jacob. Hello, Jacob. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Actions? What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> That was weird, it's like eyes ah, rolled into the back and said, I got some paragon out of that, yeah! We'll get paragon. Where'd this go? What's this? Briefing comrade. No thanks. What's up? Don't we do? What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer aided design and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture. That's all for now. Yep, should have been there. I am done talking to you. Received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, lady. I want to go talk to Miranda. And after I've done talking to everybody, I'm going to end off. Because I can't remember what I should be doing after this in the mission list. <laughs> Where's Miranda? Around here somewhere. What's down here? Hello, people. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry. What's that guy? Princess? Well, that guy gives you stuff to me. Not in here. Good. Yeah, turn around. I think that guy sells you stuff or something. There she is, Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? 
skills. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. She's the pretty. Sirens have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Resources. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You got it. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Goodbye. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Okay, well, we've talked to them. I am going to end... Not end off here, but I'll see you later. I'm going to go talk to other crew members, see if I get any side missions. I don't know how long it's going to take, because it's a big ship. So I'll see you next time.